Good morning and welcome to the Chidesy and Persico show brought to you by White of Bush Live on Facebook and also YTV. My name's Anton Persico and I'm joined here by a Mark the Chin Childs. Good morning, Chidesy. How are you? Morena, everybody. Uh, looking forward to another super day of rugby here in the Wadarapa. Cool. And to start the show off, first of all, we want to thank our sponsors, uh, McDonald's Masterton. You guys have been absolutely epic this year. We've uh, given away uh, over 300 cheeseburger vouchers at the game. So all the kids that have received them, we hope you've enjoyed. And there's going to be more to come this season as well. Now, you got a little bit of a gift or a, a, a barbershop Geordie drop you off something today? He did into work. Uh, Barbershop Geordie, another voucher for a haircut, which we'll elaborate on later on the show, and a brand new pair of rugby boots. So, not these ones. Not um, these ones. These are my boots, but they're very similar, but brand new. Yeah, brand new pair of rugby boots. So, look, big shout out to Barbershop Geordie and his team there, uh, Shane Harmon, who actually won the voucher last week, but <laughs> we realised he, he didn't want to really give himself his own haircut. Dean and Gooden got it in Dean the end. Dean Gooden got it in the end. So, yeah. uh, Barbershop Geordie, awesome work, mate. Thank you very much. Cool. Um, and also, Ray White, pick the score. Um, that has jackpotted this week to $600. So thank you very much, Mark Childs and Ray White. Uh, we're going to tell you what game that is later on in the show. So who couldn't go into the weekend or into a Sunday with 600 bucks in their pocket, Childsy? Absolutely. I hope it goes. I hope it doesn't keep jackpotting, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Now, the um, uh, Photobomb Tony competition. This photo didn't come out too clearly, but Dean... Eagle Eye Gooden, uh, you're currently leading the photobomb competition with this pick, and we'll post that on uh, the Wide Upper Bush Facebook page for everyone to see. So remember, if you see Tony Hargood out and about um, in an important meeting on the sideline, ARing, make sure you photobomb him, and um, you could win 500 bucks at the end of the season. So we're going to kick off straight away with um, one of our guest speakers. Uh, uh, now, this guy, we had him on probably 12 months ago to the date. Yeah, it would be pretty accurate there. Yeah, it would be. Yep. And um, I'm going to let you introduce him, Chelsea. Well, look, it's his favourite photo in behind here that he's ever <laughs> taken. Uh, we know he really loves it. And um, there's also another photo of uh, this guy um, on the, the wall at the Lone Star. <laughs> now, if you make the wall at the Lone Star, you've pretty much made it in life. That's the bottom line. You have former All Black, 10 matches for the All Blacks. Not everyone realises that. Scored under the post at Twickenham. Oh, what a short ball from Frank Bunce. My memory serves correctly. The one and only Marty Berry, live from Australia. Good morning, Marty. Morning, boys. How are we going? Very good. We're great, Marty. Look, right. it's a pleasure to have you on the show again. And uh, for those who don't know Marty and his wife, Andrea, a.k.a. Doris, uh, relocated mm -hmm. to Newcastle in Australia um, to, for, for a new experience. And Marty is currently coaching the Hamilton Hawks and Premier Rugby there in Newcastle. So, Marty, just could you tell us a little bit about your experience so far over there? Yeah, we've been here for four months now, and it's been a yeah long season. We've had well, long pre-season. We had three games so far. Uh, we actually love it here. It's a beautiful climate. We live in. We've got a little one-bedroom apartment, probably about eighty metres from Newcastle Beach, so right in the middle of town. It's a completely different lifestyle change for us, but we love it. Yeah, I just butt in there, Marty. We're not. We haven't got you on the show to promote Australia, but uh, look, we're, we're happy. We're happy. You're happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, Marty. Tell us a little bit about your club, the Hamilton, the mighty Hamilton Hawks. They are the five-time defending champions of yeah. that, of that competition. Yeah, five, so what does that you know, yeah there, was, there was no um, competition last year because of COVID over here. So, um, yeah, they won it five years previously. Um, so, obviously, very strong club. Um, lots of players, or they've lost a few this year, have gone to the, the Wildfires, um, which is a local team that's playing in the shoot shield which is a sydney competition so we've probably lost well maybe up to eight of our players starting 15 that won the final back in 2019 but we've got a good nucleus of players there strong forward pack and we've got a good set of backs including Ranier Peterson, obviously from greytown um great having him there he's he's going really well you're yeah, just on Ranier and ryan hargood marty uh you know two players that played for greytown last season with a great family connection at Greytown. Could you just tell us a little bit more about how they're going? Yeah, well, Ryan, he's playing overside flanker for us, um, but he's throwing the ball into the line out, so he's got a good, good throw there. Um, he's got, as you know, he's got good footwork. Um, he's, yeah, he's playing really well. And Raniera, he's obviously, I've known him since he's about four, Rocco's best mate. Um, yeah, he's he's running the show for us at 10, but he's, we've got some other good players there as well. So. He's got a good right boot. We've got to set our number 12. He's got a great left boot. So 
that you're running your business, tackling, you know, great tackler, and that's what I really like about him. So the best part of his game is his defence is outstanding. So that's a real bonus for us. Most, as I said, most first fives are probably a bit soft. A Persico. Um <laughs> Whereas this, this, boy, this boy was pretty Charles tough. He was. Yeah, yeah Charles, he was a tough one too, actually. I heard you a bit soft, but not too sure. <laughs> yeah, Marty. Oh, thanks, Marty. No, <laughs> no, no, we, we're going to carry on. Yeah, no, 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 carry on the yeah, end. No, we're going to carry on the you guys, If you guys are going to carry it on, leave me out of yeah, it, Yeah, well, look, you can go to the toilet. Now, now can I no just problem. ask the next question, Marty? I hear there's a uh, massive spider. I hear, the, I hear the players are playing really well there uh, over in Newcastle, but... Um, there's a bit of a spider problem with the new three Kiwi boys that have gone over. Yeah, when we first moved over here, the first six weeks, we all, all myself, Andrea, Runier and Ryan, we all stayed together in this place out at Tangera Heights, which is about 20 minutes from Newcastle. And it's like in the jungle when there was, the first day we moved in, there was about four huntsman spiders around, so the boys weren't too keen on that. So they were sleeping in the lounge for a while until they got accustomed to the spiders. So you're playing uh, Guns and Roses here? For a while, welcome, welcome to the joke. Welcome to the bad joke. <laughs> yeah, better like that. Uh, yeah, uh, Marty. Um, yeah, you've you've mentioned Anita and Ryan, and and that's fantastic. Could you just give us an insight into the standard of rugby in your competition, and perhaps how it compares to our club rugby back here and our heartland rugby? Yeah, it's, it's always hard to compare competitions um, until you have the team from one competition play another. It's, it's pretty hard. I mean, so far we've played three games which not been haven't been the toughest. So we got we got the top team playing this afternoon. Um, so that'll be a big test for us. It's a very fast style of rugby because the grounds are all all good, Nick, and it's you know pretty good weather normally. And boys probably not as big as in New Zealand, but um, yeah, so it's. Pretty hard to um, to judge, but the school level is pretty high, in my opinion. Yeah, cool, Marty. So, you, in, in summary, there, the perhaps the physicality might not be as uh, physical yeah, there, but the pace good. of the game may be quicker. From yeah, it is, it is, and, and that sort of suits the way I'm trying to get the boys to play. Anyway, um, I'm trying to play a bit of an offloading game, try to avoid the rucks as much as possible. Still, we've got the structure to go back to, but I'm we're really focusing on the offload. And we play a lot of games in our training to, to work on that. And it's really paying off. I think we had about 26 offloads on, on the last game we played. So that's a positive. Very much so. And, and you've got to practice that sort of thing at trainings uh, to make that work. And if any of the Greytown team are listening to this, please don't try and offload. <laughs> but, no, Marty, look, that's, uh, that's... Please do. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Uh, now, Marty, um, obviously uh, your son Rocco, Andrew, and, you, and yourself – has made a very promising start to his career with uh, New Z- the New Zealand Warriors and the NRL, and it must be an, an, well, an absolute dream to have him just down the road, really from you, and be able to go to the yeah. games and watch him play. Oh, yeah, that was probably one of the reasons why we came over here was, of course, our three children all living over in Australia. We've got two in Brisbane and Rocco's down in Perigal, which is about an hour and 10 minutes from here. And it was just, yeah, it worked out really well. We The Warriors flew myself and Andrew down to um, Melbourne to watch his first game, and Liam and Emma flew down, and so did Ranier. He flew down with us as well. So, And uh, Grayson Evans came across from um, Greytown to watch the game as well. So there's all, there were six of us there to watch his, um, watch his debut game, which is pretty exciting for us. Um, surrounded by about 40 members of the Walsh family. Um, so yeah, there were six of us and about 40 of them, so it was a bit of a hard case, but... Yeah, we're pretty happy for him. He, that's his dream since he was a child. He, he's always been wanted to be a warrior and a Kiwi. So so he's living his dream. So that's all, all a parent can ask for, really. Yeah, absolutely, Marty. And it's, it's fantastic to see the on the Warriors um, Facebook page the, the excitement amongst the Warriors fans who are hardcore rugby league fans and the excitement they have about Reese Walsh and Rocco Berry at the moment is, um, you yeah, know, we can just read the post. It's outstanding. So, uh, yeah, we're following him with a lot of interest and everyone here is, is really interested in Rocco's progress. So, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely they fantastic. Yeah, it's good. Now, yeah, one, no, one quick... Oh, well. Sorry, carry on, Marty. No, you're all right, mate. Go for it. Oh, well, I was just going to... Um, you and Charlesy both played together in the sort of same age group. I, I just... All I wanted was both of you to tip your head and just do a comparison of what's happening on the top of that head. Yeah, mate. Oh, look at the sun shine. You reckon the, you reckon the lighting, Charlesy, off the top of yours? Well, look, I'm, I'm winning that competition with Marty Berry about the only thing I've beaten him in, and I'm winning the chin off as well. I'll give you the tip. <laughs> you have any more questions for Marty, Charlesy? I haven't. No, it's a great uh, great chat, Marty. Thanks very much for your time. Hey, no thanks, problem, Marty. Yeah. 
Yeah, and thanks, uh, Marty, and good luck um, with uh, the Newcastle, uh, your Hamilton side in Newcastle. The Mighty Hawks. The Mighty Hawks. Look, I've got an idea. Maybe if the Hawks win the competition, or even if they don't, the winner of the local one and up a bush competition. Yes. Perhaps there should be a trip to Australia yes. for that team, sponsored by someone or something. Well, and maybe we, we should have a game at the end of the season. We should do a fundraiser and try and make it happen. Yeah, a little bit of an idea there. Sounds hey, good. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Marty. Um, all the best for today in your game, and um, hopefully we can talk to you later on in the season as well. So we are going to move on now to college rugby. Um, college rugby. So tomorrow uh, at Rath, or sorry, today at Rathkeel, we have the uh, Festival of Rugby, and that's the under-15s that all play off. It's Waikol, Rathkeel, um, Kurunui, Makoda. And then on Wednesday night, we also have... The first 15s that play off um, under lights there at Trust House Memorial Park. And I was there last Wednesday night, and it, it was pouring down with rain, but there was a massive crowd, Chosey. Awesome. It was really cool. So if you get down there, support your sides today and also on Wednesday night. Now, Barbershop Geordie is offering a um, these rugby boots and also uh, a voucher. A voucher. Mm -hmm. Explain how, how someone wins that. Well, it'll be the play on Wednesday night. It'll be uh, selected by Persico here. It'll be there. It'll be the player of the night will receive the brand new pair of rugby boots in your size and yep. the barbershop Geordie voucher. Awesome. Now, let's get into uh, senior reserves rugby. Now, um, let's have a look at the table, Charlesy. Marston and Red Star, two from two. Very strong team, well coached, uh, looking good. Greytown up there as well, um, along with the Papawai Prowlers, along with Tuhurangi. Uh, again, it's going to be a pretty even contest, I believe, this, this competition. Cool, and then the East Coast, it's very, it's very well competed here. And uh, we look all the way down to the bottom of the table. Marty down there, Leith Harley's side, he's managing that, that yes. side there at Martinborough. So hopefully those boys can get something going this season and um, get a couple of wins as well. Absolutely. Okay, results from last week, Charlesy. Let's run through them. Well, Ekerahona, Ekerahona, yeah, Ekerahona, 18 9 victors over East Coast. Uh, interesting game. I've, I've heard a little bit about it. Uh, Tom Broughton back. In the middle row for East Coast, stole a lot of ball at the lineouts. Uh, he's going to be a force this season, ex Canterbury player. Watch out for him. Uh, but Ekenahuna, just a bit too strong for Coast there, um, out there. So Ekenahuna, I believe, uh, well placed this season to the challenge for the for the competition. Okay, Marty, absolutely thrashed Gladstone. What do you know about this, Charlesy? Well, I just think uh, they've got a little bit of parity up front, Martinborough, and, and their backs did the business. So uh, it's probably looking on paper to be the best back line in the competition for Martinborough. And, you know, they're, they're looking good at this stage as well. Okay, uh, Greytown beat Carterton. Charlesy, if there's 10 more minutes to go in this game, it could have been close. Well, look, that will make the match 105 minutes from 95 minutes. But, <laughs> um, well, look, 32-7 <laughs> up with 10 minutes to go in Carterton. Yeah, they got some ball at the end and showed what they can do. So they've got a dangerous set of backs there. Uh, Very but, but, dangerous yeah, set of yeah. backs there from Carterton. As soon as they started getting some ball, um, they were unstoppable. So... Carden, for me, is a side to watch out for this year. It would be, yeah. Well, I took my hat off to the Greytown team for 65 minutes, controlled territory and possession, and didn't allow Carterton to actually have the ball. So um, I took the hat off to the to the Greytown forward pack in particular. And the Greytown back line has, has been underestimated, in my, my opinion. Uh, finished off some lovely moves there. Yeah, cool. Um, Marist also get up uh, against Pioneer with a bonus point win, 34 points of 15. But, geez, Pioneer, they are going to beat some sides this year if they keep playing... If they, if they keep building, right? Absolutely, and keep building on that club spirit, that team spirit, and they've got a great coaching management group there, so we'll look for them to keep improving as the season goes on. Cool. Okay, so let's get into uh, Player of the Week. Player of the Week, Peter Beach from Marist. Charlesy, well, do you want to elaborate on this? I uh, completely disagree with, to be honest. <laughs> uh, look, this is a conspiracy amongst the Marist club, I feel. To, to <laughs> I give, started to give, already. To give... To give, well, he's not no longer the forgotten beach. Obviously. He's not. He's he, not. He, he, you know, he was the forgotten beach, but he's now main yeah. beach. Uh, look, looking more like Krusty the clown there. He is. He so is. I hope you've got a Georgia shop. Well, look, look, barbershop Geordie voucher. Look, the only it. reason why we're going with Player of the Week because the Player of the Week gets a barbershop Geordie voucher. So, um, Beachy, please, please get, uh, head out there to Geordies and get yourself a haircut, mate, because it's looking pretty rough. Um, however, Charles, you just got a haircut today, though. I did. Yeah, yes. and he's got himself a. Um, a Donald Trump come over. He's left a little bit to the side long. And if you have a decent look, I wish we had a better camera that could zoom in. Sorry, you zoom in. He's, he's a little bit of a come over. <laughs> but check it out when you see Childsy out in the streets. Right, matches for this round. 
Gladstone host East Coast. Charlesy, who you got? This will be an even contest. It's, uh, both teams really need a victory here. So Tom Broughton coming back into that East Coast forward pack uh, will negate the likes of Andrew McLean and Andrew Smith. So it'll be, I think it'll be an even line-out battle there. Um, perhaps Gladdy with the edge in the forwards. It'll come down to the battle of the back line. So, look, I couldn't, I couldn't pick this one. I'm going for a draw. Okay, this next match in the country division, Martin Borough versus Ekaduna. Marty at home. This is a massive game. What do you got on this? Yeah, I think it's the match of the round, to be yeah. honest. So, Martin Borough, a huge start to the season, two 40-point victories. Ekaduna uh, looking solid. I, I think this is uh, this will go one of two ways. The, the Ekaduna forward pack, uh, if they can get some parity in the type five, they have one of the best loose forward trios going around in club rugby, probably anywhere, with Sam Gammy at number eight, Johan Van Vliet at seven, and BJ Campbell at six. Yeah. That's, a, that's a powerhouse back row. Yep. They're very experienced, knowledgeable, hard football players. So yeah. I, I believe uh, if they can get a bit of dominance um, through the forward pack, then that'll, that'll open up to the likes of um, the Geek and Hoona back line, which this season is looking very, very promising which yeah. hasn't been so since 2014. And that's uh, obviously because of Robbie Anderson, I think, hitting the midfield up there as well. Well, yeah, we know Chuck's a very good defensive player in the midfield there, so they're a very organised defence. I've got Matt Rally, uh, ex-Poverty Bay at centre. Um, so with him and Chuck in the midfield there, they'll be mm. they'll be a strong a strong team on defence to try and break down. Uh, they've got Bunter Anderson Jr. there at halfback uh, in, in the footsteps of his father. Yep. And uh, Pepe at first five uh, in the footsteps of his father. Um, Josh Pepperell, whose father Craig coaches the Ekaduna team. So, look, they've also got this guy, Reese Christensen, out on the wing, the Ginger Ninja. Watch out for him. So, they are definitely a better backline than they've had in the last sort of five, six seasons. But they're up against probably the best backline in the competition at the moment yeah. in Martinborough with uh, Chancellor Opiha, Tipi Haira. Yeah. Uh, and they've got a, a new second 5 8, uh, Te Aranui, who has a league, rugby league background. Um, he was playing rugby league. Uh, for the West Tigers seconds team, I do believe, in Australia. And he's come yep. back uh, for club rugby here and making some waves down there in Martinborough. So he's a big, strong, strapping lad. And he's got a very, very skillful player in Tristan Flutie on his outside. And they've got uh, Alex Priest at fullback uh, and Nathan Hunt on the other wing. So the Martinborough back line is very, very strong and dynamic. Yep. So if they can just get a little bit, little bit of ball, um, they're going to score some tries. So I predict a really close encounter here in this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to lean, I'm going to lean, I feel the forwards is where it's won, and I'm going to lean, I'm going to lean to an upset. I'm going to lean for Ikaduna to win this one. Cool. Well, look, Bru you? Brucey did say in the paper that um, his forwards haven't been tested this year, and this is going to be the massive test for Brucey. And I think if Brucey can get up and win this one, and I've, I'm backing Martin Burrow. Did yeah. You? Yep. No, I took Eki, yeah. Yep. I'm going Martin Burrow. I think if Brucey can get up and win this one against these big Eki forwards, yep. well, I think they're one of the favourites to win the competition. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like. And James Bruce, I know, for one, will, will be able to motivate his forward pack. Mm. It's uh, um, one of his great traits is the, his ability to motivate his team, yep. especially when perhaps they're, they're not picked to dominate. So Yeah, huge game. The winner of this um, gets the top of the table of the – Country competition and goes through the Lane Pen Cup final, yes. which is uh, in a few weeks' time, depending on who plays who. Now, uh, Pioneer hosts Carterdon. I've got Pioneer for an upset here, and I need it. If Marist beat Greytown, then Marist go through as Lane Pen Cup finalists as well. With a bonus point. No, 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 because it goes on who beats who in the round robin games. Yeah, well, you're five points behind, so you, you need a bonus point. We need point. a bonus point. You need to do your research. Yeah. But, but anyhow, yeah, look, I would be, I think, Pioneer are going to be on the improve, but I feel that Carterton will get their fair share of position. And, uh, yep. yeah, I feel they've probably got a little bit, little bit too much strike power. So come I'm on, going for Carterton. Come on, Pioneer. Get up there. Now, the match of the round, the pick the score competition, $600, the replay of last year's grand final, Marist versus Greytown, and that's at 2.35 on uh, and Marist, Childsy. I've, I've been reading the paper all week. All I hear is complaints about scrums. Uh, we're injured. We've got this problem. What was me? Tell us the truth. What's happening? Well, the, the injuries, yeah. We, have, we do have a lot of injuries. Okay. So Chris Hemi out. Chaz Matthews probably out for the season. Yep. Unfortunate. Uh, Very yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, it is for Chaz. You know, he was really looking forward to this season playing again. Uh, Chris is a massive blow. Lance Buchanan, our hooker, out uh, with three front rowers out, actually. So we're thin on the ground in that tight five, um, and we've got other niggles as well. These players there that are that are sore that will play. We're down to 18, 19. 
Um, we're going to rely on our, the Papawai Prowlers uh, to provide us our bench, which they have done, and that just shows the great team, club spirit there is in Greytown. So, yeah, we're, our backs are against the wall in this game. Okay. Uh, prediction? Do I need to ask? Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back, back the boys to, to fight hard and come away with a close victory. Okay, are we, have we got a wager on this? Should we do a lunch at the White Swan dressed up in opposition kit again? Because I made <laughs> you do that last year. All right. Yeah, we on? All right, come on, Beachy. Come on, the Maris boys. This is going to be an epic game. Uh, obviously, replay of last year's grand final. And uh, so get down to Maris at 2.35. Also, the uh, senior reserves are playing at 1 o'clock. They are. Um, the Papua yep. Prowlers versus Maris as well. So it so, starts at 1 o'clock at Maris. So get down there. It should be a really good... Afternoon and good evening as well, Charles. Full of banter, full of banter, yep. of course. And that's <laughs> plenty of banter. And keep it clean, the banter, please. All right. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> no, 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 leave me alone in the club rooms, please. <laughs> All you Maris supporters. <laughs> Pick the score competition, $600. You know the rules. Make sure you, um, the first comment below. Now, um, with the Pick the score competition, it has to be a fresh comment, not a response, a, re a reply to someone's comment. So, um, Get in there win the, and try and win this competition. $600 thanks to uh, Ray White and Mark Childs. What about you, Campaign Childsy? The pen that I stole a few weeks back, it gives you some advice on actually tips on having a great night. Having a great night. Yeah, the What About You campaign, all about looking after your mates and watching what you're drinking. So top tips for a great night out. Everyone listen. Point number one, have your phone fully charged before you head out. Charge it up. Done? Charge it up. No. <laughs> Know how you're getting home. Yeah. Sometimes a problem for this guy. <laughs> but uh, have your no thanks ready if you're offered a What's drink. That? Or what was that one? Have your, well, no have your no thanks ready if you've offered a drink and you don't want it. No thanks. Remember to eat and drink plenty of water. Yes. I'm going to drink some water now, actually. Good. Pesco, stay with your mates and watch out for each other. That's probably the biggest thing. That's it. That's the biggest thing. Watch out for your mates. And thank you very much to What About You campaign. And thanks for watching today. Now, before we leave the show, we're going to leave you with uh, a magic moment from last year's grand final between Maris and Greytown. Uh, I hope you enjoy and see you at the games today. Thanks for watching. This is huge. James, James Goodger taking his time, taking in some deep breaths here. Go on, Goodger. If he gets it, they win. If he doesn't, Greytown wins. Yep. That's it. It's exactly right, Kieran. It's as simple as that. Goodger taking his time. He comes in. He hits it. It looks good. It looks very good. The yeah. best yeah. 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 And the yeah. 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 take the, the title. Two, Tony. 2002 yeah. was the last time they won it. James Goodger is now the hero of the green and whites. Players are on the ground. They cannot believe it. What a comeback. What an exciting club rugby final. And one of the best we've seen here at Trust House Memorial Park. One of the best. Absolutely amazing game, guys. Um,